What's going on guys? Today's video is going to go and cover um, some of my favorite relics for GAC um, and ones that you could if you wanted to invest a little bit higher than the others. You know relics are always you know great to have in GACs especially for some of your counters or some of your defensive teams which are some of the ones we're going to be going over today. Um, but these ones in particular are ones that are probably in my opinion having the highest value when it comes to, you know, killing somebody on offense or, you know, like we just mentioned, you know, on defense and how they function there as well. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you some of my favorite teams. And like I like I've said before, I'm going to I'm going to try to show some others I might have missed. Um, this is really for Div 1 people or maybe Div 2. Really, we're shooting for eight teams here. That's the that's the point of me saying Div 1 people because there's going to be eight teams here um, for offense and defense. So 16 all together. Um, so we're going to kind of go over some of my favorites I feel like that we should probably go over and we'll leave the ones that are, that are not a, that are not as important out as, out of the picture. So I think we're going to start here with defense. So defensively, this is probably the best Darth Revan team. You'd probably want to toss in Malik there, you know, such like that. Um, my take on the whole Darth Revan team on defense is you can just have like what I have here. Just put Darth Revan in as a leadership, make him fast. And it will still pull very, very similar counters to what a fully maxed one would. Um, I have had in my GAC histories people using Padme, people using a mirror match, people using gas. It pulls for me at least in my in my experience with this. It pulls pretty much the exact same counters in a GAC format. Now that could be totally different in a, in a TW format because there's a there's a whole guild and not just one person in one v one situation, you know. But for me. Um, I do think that you can just pull off this team and it would still pull a pretty decent counter. So in this team, I would still say you would really want a Darth Revan that is a gear 13 Darth Revan because of the speed increases. I do find that that has been very, very huge in, in, in some of my, uh, in, in pulling the counters, you know, because if you think about it, like if mine was gear 12, he's not going to be as fast, right? He's going to lose a lot of speed um, and it would make it even easier for somebody to, oh, hey, maybe I can just pull off, you know, a bounty hunters or JTR or something like that, you know? But when you throw in a fast one with a good speed in gear 13s, it's going to be really annoying and a really pain in the butt. So that's that. And then going on here, I'm going to chat about first order. This is more for my defensive setup. But when we're talking about, um, I guess, both with, with how you're going to use them in both situations, offensively or defensively. Um, in this one, I'm going to probably recommend your Kylo Ren Unmasked. Um, for not just GAC reasons, but also he has a great fantastic ship that is great in the finalizers fleet If you guys haven't seen how that all works, it's a great fleet It can beat most teams on on offense. It's a very offensive heavy and oriented fleet But this guy you're getting here with his with his relic is he's going to be super super tanky He's going to be a little bit more fast and if you come over here to show his mastery off Let's just check it out You will see here his his mastery is more health steal, armor, and protection. Some of the biggest things that you actually want on this guy is the protection and the armor. So you have those two things. Mine's only Relic 3. He has very, very good uh, protection. If you have an entirely, you know, fully maxed potency set, or uh, protection set rather, you can almost get him close to 100k. Um, it's insane. Um, you probably want to mod him differently, you know, with, with how you're using him, you know, more HP on defense or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I just like how he can have a lot of protection. I think it's a great um, tool to have on your defense. So relics on your crew for sure uh, and in most of these we're going to show you ones from each of my favorite teams not ones that are you know you know adding on to those teams just like one for each and we'll call it good there so this next one i do like a lot um <clears throat> this one is i would say going to be docket for the night sisters just because when you're talking about defensively or offensively it's going to be super annoying to have to kill 130k hp daka <clears throat> and this daka is 130k HP. Uh, it's not that hard to get her up up here with Relic 5. Mine is Relic 5. It's not that hard. Um, 130k with, I think, everything, every single thing here is HP primaries. And also an entire HP set all the way around. So, why is this so good? Well, if you if you partner her Relic with her unique Zeta, she gains insane, insane amount of extra HP um, and stacking also. And uh, what that means is for offense, rather... You can, you know, kill these Grievouses, you know, with the whole revives happening and people dying, you know, feeding her TM and her HP. You can take out Grievouses, you can take out JK, JKRs, you know, J Revan teams, and, and a lot of other teams in this game. Um, 
ones you want to kind of worry about are the ones that can stop revives like a gas like Django with his unique zeta just people who stop revives altogether. Um, so that's offense. Defensively with Daka, you're getting here somebody who is extremely pain in the butt to have to kill. Um, another one I would probably recommend, but like I said, I'm just kind of go focus on one for each of my favorite teams here would be Spirit. Spirit's really great for that extra damage boost and having her fast so she can dispel early on. But Daka, I would say, is one that you would probably want to shoot for first just because of how annoying that she can be. And her use is on both offense and defense. Because with my team here, with Relic 5 Daka, I can take out close to max Grievous teams. Um, of course, not with Watt because he can stop revives. But ones that are, you know, Grievous with BB-8, Grievous just standard with Droid Cut, or Grievous with New. It can beat all those, um, and it's great. And that's why I think Daka should be on this list. So, that's her. The next one here would be the Grievous team itself. Very self-explanatory. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be Grievous here. But if you want to take that a step further, because Grievous is a very no-brainer kind of guy there, I would say for sure B1 because of his extra speed and offense. Because with Droid Battalion, if you did not know this, with each of his stacks, he gives out, or he gets rather for himself, more offense. And he gives out more tenacity and critical avoidance. But with the mastery, you're getting a little bit more offense. The critical chance and crit damage is non-existent here because he does not crit whatsoever. But the damage is super, super nice. And also... With the gear 12 plus and the finisher to get in gear 13, you get even more speed. And he's actually a pretty decently fast character. Um, and so you do want him here. Um, but of course, Grievous would be the one that you would want to go for first. But we're talking more for GAC and we're just kind of, uh, we're kind of just assuming most people already have Grievous. So the next one I would probably say is B1 because of how util how, how much utilize and utilization you're going to get, get out of him. He's just so, so good. Um, he's a must in my opinion. So coming on down the line. We're going to chat about just the new team in general with Dooku, and you can toss in whoever you want. More scoundrels, more tanks, people like that. Jordica even, stuff like that. But in this team, I would say a Gear 13 Dooku can be insanely up, just a, a huge pain in the butt as well. He is one that I really, really want to get myself Gear 13 here in the next future, in the next future months, because he is, he, because just how his whole kit works, guys, especially under Newt Lead, you get insane amount of extra TM, or not TM, but speed, rather, with all the extortions. Um, but what you're getting here on his uh, his Gear 13 is this, his Mastery, rather. You're getting even more damage, um, and critical chance and critical damage as well, with the extra damage, of course. But if you did not know this about Dooku, he has actually one of the highest special damage uh, offense numbers in the game. Insane. I mean, you can think about this guy, Relic 3, 4, 5, um, and he can be doing like 100k crits. It's insane. Um, the thing there, though, is you still want to have him pretty fast, if not the fastest. So you'd probably not want to use a crit damage set. You'd probably want to stick with your your speed set, rather, and just get him fast. But the reason why I feel like he's just so, so good here is because of the Master of Mikashi, where he can stealth up the non-tanks for the Separatists, and then force taunts kind of like that, more TM gain, and... When he is attacking a turn, he ignores protection. So you can just think of the possibilities there with him, you know, being able to just kind of kill somebody really, really easily or stun somebody very easily because he can also stun on his basic and also inflict uh, ability block. And also the same things here on a special, but this one actually also does not have ability block, but has shocks instead. So it's great. Doubled against Galactic Republic, which is amazing. We're not using his leadership here because we're using new. It's way better. New lead is just way better in GACs. Just plain simple it is. Um, but his Zeta here, if you do want to go this route, you recover more protection and gain critical hit immunity whenever you're attacking a turn. And he has 100% counter chance, so you can just think of him having high protection. He is modded for a little bit more offense and speed. He does a lot more damage on a turn with Master Mikashi. It, you can just see it all happening there, guys. It's a great one. This guy has proved to be a pain in my side a lot. Recently, my GAC is, he's just, he's just scared. He, I, I get really, 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 really afraid whenever I see a Gear 13 Dooku. It's just plain simple. So that's a great one, I would say, for the new team. Um, one for the Geos is very, very simple as well, is the, the Geo Brood Alpha, rather. Um, because you get two for one here, it's a two for one deal. Bang for your buck is super, super huge. Um, very, very, very self-explanatory, just like the Grievous one. But if you want to go a step further here, I would really, really recommend getting your Spy Gear 13 because of the extra damage there. In whether offense or defense, whether it's going to be whichever one like that, you're getting a lot more offense potential, a lot more output on, on offense sides of things. You can really just one shot pretty much anything in the game if you wanted to. Um, and also on defense, it's going to kind of force out some of those Trey Scions because if they don't have the Gear 13 Scion, the Spy will for sure one shot that Scion because it's only Gear 12. So it's a great, great investment, I would say. And on top of that, they're great for the TBs and getting those accolades 
those 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 extra special special missions done, done there and also the lot shards so it's great great value there and then coming on down the line here <clears throat> is this uh this padme team with malik but not with really malik it's just padme in general um padme team here if there was one i would really recommend the most it would probably be gk <clears throat> gk wow gerald kenobi here um, because you know different different various uses because he's a he's a capital leader for his ship the, the negotiator and he is just a crazy crazy tank um you know his his mastery here and what it gives him oops it's over here you get more armor health steel and protection you know very similar to the kylo ren and masked um, but the, the big reason why I feel like he's just so good, especially under Padme lead, is because of the extra HP he's going to be getting with Padme lead. And that all kind of works together with his with his unique hero, Sarisu, and the, the taunt from the protection of getting and, and leaving and getting dispelled, or losing, rather. Great. You pretty much get a permataunt with this guy. Unless the, the, the people attacking are very smart about how they play, which most people are. But this guy is for sure one I would probably get gear 13 as soon as you can. Because of his ship, because he's just a super, super good tank, and he's needed for the, you know, phase four of General Skywalker, or phase two, rather, of General Skywalker, okay? Um, so now, I think that's about seven or eight. We can go over Revan in a little bit. Next up here on this list is this 501st team. So, this 501st team, I really only think there's only maybe one or two that I would really recommend getting year 13. I mean, ideally, you would want everybody year 13 here because of just how good they are. If you are planning on using these guys versus a gas or uh, Darth Revan, I would probably recommend getting everybody gear 13, except for, of course, Skywalker, because you don't need him gear 13. The clones are the most important part here. And with, with that being said, I would, I would really, really recommend getting everybody here for the clones gear 13. But if you want to shoot for one first, go for fives because of his tactical awareness Zeta. He has a ridiculous Zeta here with giving out more HP, protection, and speed and offense, of course, offense. And his mastery here gives him, of course, the same as the GK and crew, which is armor, health, steel, and protection. Very, very good of a, of, a, of a gear 13 there. And mine is Relic 7. You can just see all these numbers that they're going to be giving out to the other clones. All that protection, speed, HP, and not as much offense, but that's a pretty good chunk of offense. You know, 50, or 5,447. So great stuff there. Pretty easy one there. Next up on the list is the CLS team. And like I said, it's kind of going to be similar here. On, on the offense side of things, I'm going to just kind of recommend the ones I would shoot for first. So for this team, I would shoot for first Chewbacca. Chewbacca is your 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 foundation. He is your foundation here because if he dies, you do not get guard on you know CLS and you don't get guard on Han anymore. And what guard does, if you do not know, it actually makes it so they can't be stunned or crit or dazed, I think. Yeah, all those three things, and they have more critical chance. So you want those things to stick on your guys. So he's only really wanting to be relic here for his his extra survivability. So what we're getting here is accuracy, defense, penetration, and, and damage. So not too much, but with relics and how they work in general, you're going to be getting a lot more of these HP protection stats. So get him gear 13, not only for damage, but the fact that he can stack up a lot of his protection and HP so that he's a lot harder to take out in those offensive endeavors. Great, great gear 13. I have never once thought I wasted my resource on this guy. Him and Han Solo are some of my favorite gear 13s in the game. On top of that, they have ships. So great, great deal there. Um, next up on the list is Trya. Triumvirate with Trya. Um, but mostly just these two. You can 2v5 most bugs in this game with just two of these guys. Um, but the one I would go for Gear 13 first is, of course, Scion, because he needs to be there, Gear 13, with more survivability, you know, Gear 13 with the uh, HP protection. Um, but his mastery gives him, like I just said, this is this is a very, very consistent thing with tanks. They, they're going to get armor, they're going to get health steel, they're going to get protection. So, he is also, what is it called again? He is a strength, so that's more of the, the, the parts are the strength. The strength gives out a specific mastery, so that's the mastery we're getting here. Um, so what you why you want him here you might you might be thinking why do you want him gear 13 is because in the geo counter you want him to have high hp pool so that it doesn't do as much damage to him and he can get his held by hatred up a lot quicker once you can pull that off you have that taunt there you have the help by hatred for this the quick revive as well but yeah i mean you just need him gear 13 here just for that geo counter um if you don't want to use him in the geos i mean he's still a great gear 13 nonetheless i mean you're gonna have that crazy extra 
HP boost, more offense, of course, and he's just going to be all around a crazy, crazy annoying person to have to deal with, you know. Um, but especially in the Geo counter, you need this guy Gear 13. If you're thinking about using this team versus Geos at Gear 13, I have a really, it's been a hard time for me to lose. It's, I've always been getting very consistent wins versus Geos now with my Gear 13 Scion. It's a great one to invest in, I'd say. Um, so that's that. I mean, it's very simple, very, very self explanatory. Um, the next team here is EP. Um, it can be, you know, with a very, very different type of team here. Um, but, you know, the point on EP, I do think that his, his mastery is actually not that bad. Um, getting a gear 13 EP makes him so he has a lot more protection. He's a lot harder to kill. And if you can't kill EP early on, he is going to be a pain in the butt because he can keep inflicting his debuffs, you know. Um, so his mastery here gives him critical avoidance, accuracy, and damage. Very good stuff, actually, for how he functions. Um... The thing with this whole team, though, is that it's very, very outdated, and it's going to be kind of hard to use them versus top-tier teams, which I would recommend using your Bastard on Fallen in this team because you can use you, you can use her here, giving you more TM, a lot more, a lot more debuffs, and just get that train going. And like I said earlier in this video, you can still get and, and pull rather JC a lot of the same counters if you do not have BSF in that team. So I would use BSF here, honestly. Get a Gear 13 EP, and you'll you'll be really loving it, guys. Um, if you don't want to use EP Gear 13, I would probably recommend, in, you know, Bastion on Fallen. I mean, she's great as well. Um, you know, even to use her in, in the Darth Revan team or to use her here. You know, you get more speed here. You get a little bit more offense and critical avoidance and accuracy just like Palpatine can. Great, great Gear 13 for both of them. So, that's that team. And moving on here to the Bounty Hunters. So, Bounty Hunters... Uh, this one's very, very fun. I, I, I love this team, guys. Um, one I would recommend going for first is Bosk. Very, a very, very simple one, I would say, um, for his lead, um, how tanky he gets with relics. I mean, if you look at my Bosk here, he is gear, or rather, rather relic three. He has armor, health, seal, and protection for the mastery. He has 100k protection, guys. 100k. And with his leadership, he gets even more protection more tenacity and more defense and on his unique if he has a taunt he gets more defense and more max protection insane insane so definitely one to look into and if you already have it maybe or um you you don't feel like you want to go that route i mean Django is great as well you can if you want to use him on defense i would actually recommend a Django fet gear 13 with his leadership because of how much damage that guy can do it's really really bonkers damage his mastery is oops is more critical chance critical damage and damage so very very offense oriented and mine only at what is a relic four he has six six thousand four hundred forty three damage very very good stuff there i mean he's been doing you know 60k plus crits it's awesome so great bounty hunters there um for you know defense or offense how you however you want to use them this next one here is the resistance so i do like rage Wow, JTR's relic because not only yeah she's she's needed for this new ray, but I I honestly do like her extra damage output. If you do not want to get a gear 13 ray at all, I would really really highly recommend your R2 because of his number crunch data and giving out more of these juicy juicy stats. You would give out more of the max protection, offense, um, max HP, and potency as well. So, you know, depending on who you're running this with, if, if you're running a full resistance team, I would probably go for a bit more potency so you land those debuffs, those those exposes and stuns. So I would run that, and it just kind of depends on how you want to use them. But in this team, for sure, resistance, more potency, and with the, the relics, you give, you give out even more of those stats. And he's even more tanky, he's going to hit harder and all that stuff. It's great. So I would really like either JTR or R2 there. Great, great ideas and decisions so the the last team i think i'm gonna go over here is the revan team the jedi so for this team i love me some jolie bindo i i think he's a great one yeah you might say you'd probably want to go for yoda first and i would probably agree there as well i mean i mean a lot of these guys i would probably go for first but jolie you guys don't understand how powerful a jolie with relics is in GAC, in TW, in all the game modes. I mean, he's great. Um, yeah, I feel like I probably would um, make Yoda be one of the first ones I would get before Jolie. But if you can, let's say you already have Yoda relic up. I would for sure go for a relic on Jolie because he is so, so tanky. Um, he has built-in critical avoidance, more tenacity. And what you're getting here is even more critical avoidance, health, and resistance. So right here he has, where is his critical avoidance? He has 41% critical avoidance, and then on his Don't Interrupt Me, he gets even more critical avoidance equals to, 
equal to half of his tenacity. So you can get him pretty dang close to 100% critical avoidance here. He is a tanky boy. He is tanky. I would really, really recommend getting him if you guys could. So I think that's probably about it. I could be missing, you know, a team in there. Um, I don't want to talk about Karth too much. I feel like those are some of the teams that are very, very outdated. Honorable mentions, notable mentions rather, we could finish this up with. Um, I do love Watt. If you guys can get Watt up, going to get him up, gear 13 is huge. More HP, more protection, more speed. Great, great guy there. He's a bit hard to get though, 7 star because of the TB mission. Um, and the next one I would say here is, is Nest. You can solo more teams here. A Relic 7 Nest, she can solo uh, a Revan team without Bastilla. Um, and also, she can solo uh, Padme team and all the, all the other normal teams that you might want to solo. Um, and besides that, you know, Malak would be a great great one too, but you don't absolutely need a G13 Malak for GAC. Um, some of these other ones, you don't need a Thrawn G13. You know, just the list goes on and on here. But the ones I do feel like should be noted for honorable, honorable mentions are Watt and Nest. For sure. Those two, I feel like, should be on that list somewhere, but not you know, on the top of the list, maybe, you know, down towards the bottom, because really, really hard to get, and, you know, their uses, um, they're, they're, they're really great uses, but I feel like you should probably figure out the other ones first before those, but that's gonna probably wrap it up for today's video, guys. My thoughts on some of the best relics for GAC, you know, just plain, simple, very, very quick and easy video. Hopefully, it was quick. I don't know how long we're going here, but that's going to be it for today. If you guys think I messed up or maybe you guys would add any more to this list, you guys let me know, let me know down below. There could be other ones that I might be missing here for sure. Um, but that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share it around. And also, if you guys are new here to the channel, feel free to give me a sub. Because with that, if you guys continue subbing, once we hit 8K subs, we will do another Hyperdrive bundle giveaway. It's going to be awesome, guys. So keep on sharing, keep on subbing. It's going to be awesome. Um, to wrap this up, though, we have a couple ways to support me. We got uh, Patreon, and also we have channel memberships. Great ways to, to support me as well. And also, we have a Discord down below in the description. That's all from me today, guys. Thank you for watching it again, and I will see you all later. Peace out.